You guys ready for this? I just won an eBay lot for 15 pounds of what looks to be a collection of cards from various sets from across Magic the Gathering's history, and I purchased it for about $218, which I thought was fair based on the stuff that I saw, and the fact that in the description it says that there was a grim monolith in there while it was the championship version of the card with the gold border. Nonetheless, I was like, well, that's about you know, $30 to $40 right now in the market, so why not just purchase this thing? And it is quite heavy. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, can I even have space to put this? All right, I'm gonna pick up this tripod and I need to be an idea. I ripped off my, obviously, the label as my address. But yeah, we're gonna crack right into this thing and we are going to just go right into it. Let's see what we get. What will we get? Let's cut this here. Right. Oh, yeah, this is a, a weird one because I I don't know if this person went through the lot. I don't know if it's been searched or anything. Obviously, these blind buys, they are a bit of a gamble. He did mention Grim Monolith, but it was the championship, the world championship deck version with the gold border, which I actually mentioned as potential good specs in the future because there is a debate right now that people are wondering whether or not it should just be legal to play in Commander. And I think it should be. So, obviously it doesn't have that beautiful backing on the card, but okay, so I'm gonna pause. Okay. So let's take a look in the inside here. Got a lot of cardboard. Okay. <laughs> it's a uh, tall boy's uh, beer flat here. That's hilarious. What kind of, oh no, it's not beer, it's crush. Oh no, you know what? That's a bad sign. If it was Mountain Dew, we knew we'd be getting something good, but in force, fortunately right now, it looks like our, we just got crushed. We got crushed. What is this? What is this? Okay, so this is some sort of art on the top. And there's is a, says, uh, Cats MTG Cards. Right there, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna open this up and then we're gonna take a look at everything on the inside. I'm just gonna slice into this with my steak knife because uh, I don't have an exacto knife. I need to get one. If you guys uh, wanna shit me one, I'm gonna get a P.O. box soon. Eventually, well, I mean, don't shit me exacto, I'm joking. Let's uh, take a look at the inside here. Okay, so it looks pretty decent. We have a few rows with some deck boxes here. Oh, it's empty. Well, it said it was just lands in there anyways, but that's empty. We do have an oversized card here. Ooh, if we have any, that 2017 Commander 2017 was a great, that was a great Commander set. So hopefully we will get some cards from that in there. Yeah, so this one is empty on the far right too. We do have a deck box that is also empty. <sighs> okay, well, without any further ado, I'm gonna put this on the ground. I'm just gonna start going row by row. Okay, got a first stack of cards here. So let's flip this around to see what we have. We got Thornwood Falls on the top there. I do see some older borders, so that is nice. Let's just uh, let's just go right through it. Okay, so we have two of them. Uh, I don't know. I should use all my bulk piles. Let's just put them aside. Power Sync from Tempest. That's uh, that's not too bad. It is a useful card. Uh, Tempest. I'm hoping we get a lot more Tempest cards. I'm just gonna put older border stuff there. Okay, we do have Mountain from Mirage, very beat up though, but I do love the older basic lands. Reckless Abandon, not too bad. We're, I'm really hoping we get some more Ursus cards. So right now it just looks like a very random mix. Core Chant, another card here. Okay, so once I get into understanding what's really in here, I'll start going a little faster. Congregate, okay. Uh, so we do have some older cards. Heroes Resolve, okay. Chaos Charm, Thunderbolt, Disenchant, Fling from Stronghold, Reaper, Reaping the Rewards, okay. Uh, Ophidin, Ophidin, that's not bad. Ooh, nice Plains from Tempest, I do like the older Lands, Twitch, okay. Not bad, Disorder, here's Resolve, okay, so we're starting to see a little pattern here. Okay, so maybe we, maybe these are the only old cards in this lot that we just happened to grab in the beginning. Cloud of Fairies, Goblin Patrol, Scour. Yeah, so a lot of old stuff here, but not really the old stuff that you'd like to see. Tranquil Thickets there as well. 
Let's put that in the bulk section. Sea monster, another island, and a barbed sextant. Sexting me all over the place. Let's grab some more piles here. Okay, we have an island that's uh, that's bulky. Okay, let's, let's just let's just go through these things. If we see anything of any interest, uh, there's a little bit of sandiness to these cards. Well, I guess that's what you get when you order these. And a random buy. Okay, so a lot of new stuff here. Okay, it may just be he had a bunch of. He's trying to get rid of. That's the thing you always have to worry about when you're buying anything like blindly on eBay. Is a lot of times people they want to move their bulk, but it's very hard to do it. So they'll throw a few older cards in there um, to get buyers to you know get hooked in, I guess. And then they reel you in when they they name one or two cards like the Grim Monolith that was on this listing. Uh, and I was like, you know what, if it, there's a green monolith there, I mean, even if it's the World Championship deck one, that is, that's not bad. That's a decent, that's a decent card, and it's worthy of playing in a commander deck. Kadama's Might, there you go. That's a decent card. That's at least a round dollar. Okay. So there is some stuff here. Um, this might be one of those buys where I'll have to find ways to convert. Ooh, nice older card. Dirty Wear right? uh, I'll have to find a way to convert everything I can into some form of value. Uh, so I'll have to either trade or buy list these in for something and maybe trade them in for, you know, with the credit, additional credit that I would get. Nice, I like that card. Uh, I will be able to purchase, you know, maybe some reserve list cards with this. Uh, that's kind of like what I've been doing lately. Nice. Getting some more older cards. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys like to do when you buy collections and you happen to have all this bulk left over? Do you... Do you trade it in? Like, what do you do with it? Just keep it for like draft chaff? Like, what do you guys do? I'd like to know, please leave a comment down below as I go through here. Okay, yeah, there is not really much here. Uh, I really don't like seeing, I see a rare there at the corner. You see that little thing right there? But, um, ooh, another older card. Uh, okay. I do wanna know what you guys do with this stuff. Maybe you can give me some ideas of what I should do with all my bulk. It's starting to become a problem. It's starting to become a problem. Okay, so here are some rares here. Aid from the Cowl. That's not really much of anything. Constantly cracked down. Okay, was that it for the rares there? Okay, we do have another old deer card, and we have a Markov Dread Knight. So yeah, it might just be bulk. With a few random things thrown in there to spice it up. Um... So I'm just grabbing another pile here. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it's feeling like right now. All right, my camera cut off there. I hope I didn't miss too much of you guys. Uh, okay, let's just keep going through it. Team your Battle Mage is worth uh, putting aside. Um, we are go oh Wild Slash. I was just gonna say Fate Reforge had a pretty good uncommon. Wild Slash was up for a while when Pioneer was doing well. Right now, people can't play, so the value of that the value of that card has been tanking. Um, it is also, you know, an uncommon, so do not hold uncommons too long. You know, do with what, do what you need to with them and then trade them in fast. I was thinking of uh, Spider-Man, uh, the scene. Harry Osborn tells, or uh, Norman Osborn tells Harry Osborn, do what you need to with them and broom fast. I don't know why, that just kind of came up in my head. Uh, hope you guys didn't creep you out too much with that impression there. Okay, let's keep putting those aside so we got more M21 stuff. Joy. Okay. Let's keep this going. Let's keep the party going. Let's keep going through these cards. Hopefully we see... Oh, Ancient Stirrings. That used to be like a $5 in common. I can't believe... Pretty much every competitive common has plummeted in price. Because, you know, if you're not playing the game, it's just a common at the end of the day, right? There's a lot more supply out there. And if people can't play, well, they tank. Lost Diamond, those are always useful in Commander. Okay, let's just keep going. I don't know if that's anything. Yeah, so far, not too many rares. Not too many rares in here. But uh, that's okay. Royal Eruption, okay. Oh, we do have a Zoth Consumption foil, okay. Uh, ran through, so we got some Ikoria stuff now. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm mostly trying to pull older cards yeah, and foils. Um, the Electromancer, remember that? That's a great card. Uh, Rofalo's Gift. Let's put that aside, too. Hopefully we find more stuff here. Share Discovery, wow. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. 
That's alright, let's just uh, let's just keep it moving. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Merfolk looter old card. Uh, yeah, so the old cards are nothing. It's not like there's any reserve list ones there that I could note. But uh, we do have some older cards. Alright, almost missed this little pile here. It's probably nothing, so let's just go through it fast. And, uh, yep, yeah, there was nothing of note. Okay, I'm almost done the final, the first row, I should say, of this random buy. Okay. Ooh, there's some older, there's some, uh, cards. Revenge of the Hunted. So there is a rare there. I'll put that aside. A right, Word of Blasting. We have Kemba. So it is from that cat deck from course, I mean, uh, from Commander 2017, a great, great, great deck. I think it sells for almost over $100. Right Spirit of the Hearth, not too bad. Okay, White Sun Zenith. So none of the really expensive ones so far. Redeem, Hammerhead Shark, Clockwork Steed, Solary Trooper, Seething Anger, Healing Cell, Blood Frenzy, Power Sink. Oh, nice, Cargan Dragon Lord. Wall of Ice from Revised. It is beaten up. My goodness. Uh, Bullwhip. Oh, Moth Dust Changeling. That's a 4 or $5 in common, I believe. I mean, a common foil. Sky Hunter, Goblin Masons, Gutter Grime. Okay. Trained Org. This is all, in all those standard, uh, those uh, pre constructed decks in 7th edition. If you guys remember that. Feels a little bit like one, yeah. Okay. Just keep pulling these aside. Okay, we have Giant out of Phage. Soul Collector, you got two of those. So these are the ones I saw that he pulled for the listing, just to let you guys know. So the ones we're going through right now were the reasons why I, I purchased it, thinking there was going to be some other really good cards in here. We'll see if that's going to be the case. Hell of Alt, okay. Uh, Bastion, uh, Bastion Mastodon, okay. Keep going. Wow, these are, you hear that sound? Ugh. Stick this. These got... A lot of dust in here. I'm going to have to wash my hands like crazy after this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, not too, nothing too crazy to talk about here. So we'll just kind of... Crypt Champion, remember that card? Jeez. So we'll just kind of go through here fairly quick. Up and down, up and down, all around. Gift of the Deity. I'll put that aside. Eventide was a very small print run. So there is a lot of stores that will buy them back. Vital Surge, Fabric Fab X-Mage, great card. Um, so just, that's something to know. If you guys see older cars from a small print run set, uh, you can usually buy list them, I, even Card Kingdom, I think TCG Player even as well. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to put these aside, and then we'll get started on the last stack. And we'll keep this thing going. Move this stack. Oh boy, you know what? Let's be safe, let's do it in pieces. I'm going to try to grab it all at one. Not smart. Not a smart move. Let's put these aside now. Okay, let's grab the first stack. Here we go. I'm gonna organize these a little better. Put these at the top, put these at the top there. All right, let's go through them. We're starting off some old cards right away. Phantom Neshoba, nice. Jareth, oh look at his body. How many, how many abs does he have? He has abs on his sides, abs where he has abs on his abs. That's incredible. Abs on his abs. Cool sadist, realm seekers, having tower shell, Johnny's chosen. Okay, so these are all rares. Should be putting them here. Wait, yeah, these are all rares. Okay, so they go there. Same as this one. Put that one there too. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Go straight back to commons. That's okay. I'm expecting a lot more commons. Anytime you do the random buy, you should be expecting more commons on commons than rares. Obviously. Okay. We got, ooh, old foil here from a I think guild pack. That's kind of cool. It's uh, interesting to see. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that, that's odd. I never see, you never really see stuff like that. Put that there. More cards. Okay, so starting off with more older stuff. So I'll give Mad Dog. Executioner's Capsule. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so let me know about these videos. Like, how do you like them done, typically? I'd like to know. Do you like 
to watch these with music, without music, uh, with the prices on screen, without the prices on screen. I'd love to know. So please leave a comment so I can try to deliver uh, something that you guys would enjoy a lot more. Okay, some more rares. Uh, nothing too crazy. So none of these rares so far, I've been like, whoa, that's incredible. They have uh, Arse Whoopin. I don't want to get demonetized. Collector Protector, Frankie Peanuts. See some unhinged. It's funny. We have Nessians, Wild Ravager, Triscophobia, Mark of Dread Knight, Ever After. Okay, so a lot of bulk rares. So I'm seeing Zathid Gorgon. Okay. Groot's Horde from M12. This is, I think, the pre-con one. Yeah. Personal Sanctuary. Okay, so yeah. So a lot of this is... It's bulk rares. I haven't seen any rares that have kind of stuck out. So these are definitely just someone... It's From the, what it looks like right now, what it feels like is someone trying to get rid of their bulk, throw in a few cards, spice things up a bit, and reel people in. Okay. I'm going through it pretty fast, just trying to find anything of note. Eugene's Insight. And there's another Magus of the Arena. It's another rare. Okay. All right, let's grab another stack. Okay. And there's, ooh, rare right off the bat. Triscovilius. Okay. Ooh, we got Jaya. That's pretty cool. Jaya Ballard Task Mage. I don't know if it's worth anything anymore. Uh, Voltaic, uh, Volcanic Vision. Scroll of Origins. Storm Kirk Noble. Nice. Ivy Elemental. Faux Razor Regent. Arishan Sovereign. Okay. Let's put those all aside. Not bad. We do have a Foil Pyretic Hunter. Okay. Let's keep going. So it looks like they're very spread out, these rares. They may have just been placed inside. Because uh, we're not seeing a, all, all of them together. I think they're just kind of placed inside these long boxes sporadically as someone was trying to get rid of their bulk. Okay. Oops, let's put those there. Let's keep this going. Hmm. Yeah, I always, whenever I do these random buys, I always put, if it's just mostly newer cards, I always separate the older stuff. Just in case... Uh, I do collect more older stuff now than I did before. I used to love modern, and now that you can't really play modern, uh, you know, I've been trying to collect more older cards and products instead. Uh, oh, there we go. We do have some rare as I speak. Prism Array. Is that it? Just the one? Okay, so we're just not the one. <laughs> just the one. Nothing to get too excited over. So we'll keep it moving. Transgress the Mind is a great card in standard, by the way. Just letting you know, if you guys played Standard around that time, very powerful card. Removes a... If I cut through it, that's a good card, too. It removed uh, one of your opponent's cards from his hand. Not too bad. Guess the last little stack. Okay, anything of note? Anything of note to go over? Hmm, not looking too spicy. Not looking too spicy here. Yeah, nothing too crazy, unfortunately. Uh, nonetheless, let's just put those aside. Let's get more cards. Let's just get more cards. Okay. Nothing here. Okay, a lot of Battle for Zendikar. That's not a good sign. Battle for Zendikar, Oath of Gate Watch. Those are the ones uh, I happen to just see all the time with random buys. People just love getting rid of those cards. Okay, let's keep it going. Hmm. There is a foil there. Uh, Hinterland Logger. Not too bad. I pull that aside. I don't know if that... There's one or two cards. Uh, uncommons from Shadows of Shadow that are actually worth something. Uh, I, I keep forgetting which ones they are because I don't pay attention too much to modern and standard rotating cards as much as I used to as people don't play face to face as much. Let's grab another stack. Okay, Foundry of the Councils to start things off. Ooh, this is why I do the random buys instead of buying single sometimes, because I am a, read it, there we go. Put that over here. Uh, head to head, little girl, man a measure, okay, cheaty face. Some of these are really funny. Um, does, does he have the Richard Garfield one? No, not there at least. That's the one that I'm looking for. If I do find that, Zombie Infestation is a great card. Um, okay, here we go, more. Red Hot Hottie. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, it's, I always find the uncards in almost every single random buy that I do for some reason. I don't know why that is, but I end up finding them all the time. They just won't leave me alone. These. Uh, but you know what? I'm happy with that. I don't really mind too much. Do you guys like those uncards? That last box set, I was very surprised at how much that tanked in value. Um, those lands, I guess that's what happens when you keep reprinting or making new full art lands, uh, destroying the equity of the older lands, and then you, people kind of like panic sell and they, they just uh, don't buy any more of them because they're like, you know what, Like I'm not buying your full art lands because it's not special anymore. You know, when you're releasing them in every single set, why would someone buy, you know, those box sets essentially, if you're not going to play it together as like a group, you're really only getting them for those full art lands. And if uh, you keep printing them in almost every other set, no one cares. That's not even really economics, that's just common sense. Get a canopy gorger. Wow, is that foil? I can't tell. That's so bad. That's the worst foiling ever if that's foil. I think it is, though. Yeah, I think it is. Wow, that's terrible foiling on that. You can barely tell. It's like they just put oil on top of the card. Okay, let's keep it going. So far, we haven't found the Grim Monolith, which is the main reason why I purchased this lot. Um, so, hopefully we do... Oh, there's another foil there. Hopefully we do see it soon. Keep this thing interesting. Okay. Let's, uh... More, more cards. Uh, yeah, not too exciting. I have to say, a lot of these are bulk and they're always always going to be bulk yeah no no rares in a, a while right now it's the longest spell i think that we've had without a single rare just looking because i know this set will have a few decent uncommons okay no gentleman two no prison ring there's this hot tub there you go another one there to laugh at Hmm, yeah, so uh, when it comes to those unsets like uh, unhinged and all that, the foils catch it like they fetch a really high premium. So keep an eye on those if you ever see them. Uh, they are worth a lot. I have to say, just in case you guys didn't know that the unhinged foils worth a lot, and they're black border as well. Okay, let's keep going. And no, no, no. So veteran war leader, we do have a rare there. Harrow, Harrow, Sylvan, Scrying. Okay, uh, ooh, portal card. Train cheetah. Interesting. It's a little bit, a little bit of dirt on the top there, but that is a portal card. Three kingdoms, I believe. That's really cool. Okay, let's keep it going though. That's random to see that there. <laughs> random card. Uh, Horn cheetah, another cheetah. Explore. It's a decent card. Chinese primates. That's a dual deck version, actually. Scythe Leopard Seal of Strength. That's beaten up like crazy, though. Yeah, it looks like someone's cat deck was definitely in here. They're, they definitely did a. <laughs> definitely, from what I've been seeing, there's been some sort of Selesnia um, cat deck. It's just weird, though, because I'm making sure I haven't seen any of the really expensive ones from that set. Really Crush. Okay. Ooh, Noyan Dar Royal Shaper. It is from Zendikar, which means it's not worth anything. Neither are all these cards. All these rares right here. Nothing. And there's a foil angel of deliverance. Nothing. Those are worth nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Another angel of deliverance. Uh, Wolf of Devil's Breach. It's a mythic. Don't think it's worth anything, though. Mythics don't really mean anything if they can get reprinted and downshifted to a uh, an uncommon or a rare sometimes. Howl of the Horde, Retribution of the Ancients, uh, Ignition, Ignition Team, okay. So there are no rares really that are uh, exciting. Okay, we do have a Rakasha, 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 Death Dealer, a Raksha Golden Cub, okay. 
All right, uh, let's uh, keep this moving along. Pulse of Mercy, that was a great card in standard. I don't know about now, we have another foil there. Nothing of uh, any real value though. Okay, let's keep this going. Nothing here to note. Reflector Mage was a decent, I'm gonna put that aside. That was a great card at one point. It's still used, I think, in human decks, in modern, uh, I believe so. Uh, so it's worth just pulling aside anyways. Sensory Deprivation, great art on that, creepy art. Okay, uh, Whip Keeper, okay, so we do have some Odyssey cards there. Not too bad. Okay, so here's where I think there is some value. Potentially we are getting back to the Commander 2017 stuff. Dream some Holian, Curse of Vines, Curse of Vitality, Curse of Bounty, Condemn, Pima Sesh, that was it, okay. Never mind. <laughs> We're going to get into more. Uh, okay, so we get some more older cards here. Honor Guard. We have Moon Hold. Uh, Shield Mage Advocate. Savage Offensive. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, Gift of the Deity. We have some more older cards here. Armor Guild Mage. Kabu Aggressor. Wild Knight. Struggle for Sanity, Baldubian Rage. It's a cool card, actually. Graph Rats, Blood uh, Frenzy, Orcish Oriflame. Is that it? Okay. Ravaging Riftworm, cool. It's a cool card. Another Razor. Razor Tip, Whip, Sensor Division, Volcanic Hammer, Ogre Taskmaster, Disenchant. Older cards there. Okay, let's keep it moving here. Uh, okay. Still trying to find that. Grim Monolith he was talking about. Pilliford Ox. Uh, Crook Claw. Craw, uh, task, uh, uh, transmuter. Jeez, can't speak today. Cannot speak today. Okay. And that was the that was it for the middle stack. Okay, so we are done with the middle stack already. So there's four rows. We just finished two rows. So now... We're going to start with this row. So we're officially halfway done as soon as I put this down. Okay. So we're going to start off with a Loyal Cather. Okay. The Night Guard, Nibble of Mist, Nibblus of the Urn. A lot of Nibblus. Okay. No, no, no. Burning Oil. <laughs> Faithless Looting. Remember that one was a... got banned? Destroyed so many decks. Uh, a lot of people did hate, I have to say. A lot of people really hated playing against Dredge. That was one of the reasons why I did get the ban, Droxol Captain. I used it in Hollow One, so that kind of annoyed me. So I thought Hollow One was a fairly fair. It was fair, I think. Some people hated to play against it, but I still think it was fair. I like the randomness of it. Okay. Shriek, wow, wow, a lot of dual deck cards here. Okay. Let's keep going. Still... Still looking for those rares, still looking for those rares, whenever they do appear. Which, uh, they are evading me right now. Yeah, whoa, what? Beth Stallion, gotcha. Love when people write on their cards, making little proxies or something. Explore, Bestial Menace, that's an older. Okay, and that's, uh, now we're flipping these over. Oh, no, flipping them over to here, there we go. Ogres of Vaughn, okay. Briar Horn. Naya Charm. I like the charms, I will put that aside. Spite and Malice, Behemoth Sludge, Obelix of Grisk, okay. More Plane Chase cards, wow. Search for Tomorrow, Dusting Shaman, Cruel Revival. Like, that's the cool thing about buying uh, any random lot sometimes. You just see so many different cards from different sets that you just wouldn't see without buying something random like this. You just, you don't ever get a chance to kind of go through things and see them all just scattered like this. It's, it's interesting. Some people I know, they actually like buying these just to kind of organize them and stuff. And then that way, if they're ever selling or they need certain cards for decks, they have it all organized for them and ready to go. A lot of older cards there. Ooh, nice scroll of the Grizzle brand. Not bad. We have Slith Blood Letter, Snake Form, and we got some more Commander 2014 cards, I believe. Lava Blister. Okay. Hmm. Just putting aside anything that I might need for some decks or to fill out some holes in my collection. Okay, let's grab another pile. Small pile here. Okay. 
Uh, now we're getting more, more of the older stuff. Trading Post. Nice. This used to be actually a decent card. I don't know if it still is. The prices of uh, some of the modern cards, I have no idea anymore. Trading Post, not bad. Suspension Field. Uh, Phantom Neshoba. Reign of the Pit. Nice. Robber Fly, an older card. Going to Putrefy and then Jareth. Again, we've seen him before. Hunter's Prowess. Fire Main Angel, Wild Pair. I think this is worth a few bucks, I believe. To the Slaughter, Sphinx Ambassador. Nice, look at that old Corset 2010. Mythic there, beautiful. Uh, Johnny Combo Player, Asquatch. <laughs> to make fun of the iconic uh, photo of, uh, of the um, Sasquatch walking out, looking at the camera. There we go, right there, right behind me. That was the card I bought it for. Grim Monolith. World Championship deck. It's definitely beaten up a little bit there. But yeah, Grim Monolith, not bad. Pretty cool. Chippy, love his art. Really cool. Okay, I'm not going to sleeve it because it's not in the greatest condition, but I'm going to leave it there. Cool. All right, well, we finally hit the card that was uh, what got me to purchase this. Okay, let's keep going. Now that we uh, we've got that out of the way... Now we, everything else is just gravy, right? Right? No? Okay. We don't know yet. We don't know what else is in here. It could be some cards. Better than that, even. Uh, you never know. You never know. I'm not betting on it, though. I think that was probably uh, the meat of this whole thing. I doubt we're going to see anything better than that. But let's keep our hopes up. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Okay. Let's turn these over. Let's get to it. We are champions, right? Wow, that's a lot of basic lands. We do have a full art land. I do keep these just in case. Okay, Seismic Stomp, Silver Construct. And just imagine from here on out, it's just complete bulk. <laughs> oh, we do have Cultivate. That's a good uh, using commander. It's a good card. Zombie Infestation, I like that. Uh, hmm, nice Stasis Cell Foil. There. Small box. I like that card too. Tragic Clip, great removal and popper, by the way. Uh Humble of the Howl Pack, okay. That is it. Let's get this pile here. Hoping for some like something to catch me off guard, but it's not looking like right now. Compulsive research, let's put that aside. I think I need a few more to fill up. Yeah, it's uh not feeling too strong here, but yeah, well, we'll have to see. There might be a few surprises towards the end. That's what I'm hoping for. That's I'm sure you guys are hoping for too, watching at home. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, I used to watch a lot of these on YouTube, a lot of random buys, and I'd crack open a beer or something, throw this up on the smart TV, and just kick my feet back and enjoy. I hope you guys are enjoying this too like to give you guys a little bit of something to watch on a Sunday, relax with the family or by yourself, you know, hopefully this, these videos calm you down in these really trying times. It's very, very hard out there, and I, I get that for a lot of people, um, but you know, it's uh, sometimes you just have to appreciate the little things in life, and I hope you guys are at least trying to do that. And with that little statement, let's get on with this. A Taste of Blood Foil. Okay, Rampant Growth, great card. Well, not a great card, but it's a useful card, I should probably say. Great sword. Nice, okay. Sudden Death. Ooh, we have the Fallen Empire's card here. Brass Claw Orcs, Pented Prism. Dragon's Claw, I love that card. Uh, Darkwood Boars, for playing, I should say. Whenever I say I love a card, it doesn't mean I, I, I think it's valuable. I just, I'm like, well, it's it's played. People can play it. Uh, it has utility. Wayfarer's Bobble. Unstable Obelisk, Lore Seeker Stone, Absence Collar, I'm putting those aside because I know there is playability there. There's an Okoza look, uh, okay, more, yeah, nothing really here. I'm putting away any of the Commander stuff because I always find them on buy lists for some reason, even if they're like not valuable. Um, just so that way I don't have to go through the collection again. Okay, so Kirun, okay, Martyr's Tomb. 
Okay, so we got some older cards there as well. Nothing too crazy. Custody Battle, though. Is Custody Battle worth a few? Uh, it might be. Lost Ormancers, uh, Rift Sweeper. Nice. More older cards. Flare, Annaba Bodyguard, the Croson Tusker. Kadama's Reach again. God, I love that card. Worm Harvest, Thala Germany. These are from uh, Modern Masters. Curse of the Shallow Graves, Quagmire Dru Giggity, Quagmire Druid. Uh, Curse of Predation, Spreading Vines. Okay. I don't know why I'm naming off these cards. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing it. Why not? Even if they're not the greatest, just uh, just naming them off. Something to talk about. Uh, I know some people, like, they just like to listen to these like a podcast. So, to all the viewers who watch like that, you know, I, I speak and I, uh, I keep it going that way. Fill you in. If you're not watching, so I've got to name some of these cards, even if they're not great. Give you an idea of what's happening here. Beast Attack. Weird. Okay. Figure Mortis. Nameless Inversion. We have some more older cards. Harmonize. Great. Great card. Used to be played a lot. I don't know if it is now, but... Uh, okay, Sengar Armat. So we are got some Eternal Masters cards. I mean, we should... Yeah, so Eternal Masters is a good... I do like Eternal Masters. Although the card quality during that block was terrible. Really bad. I think that's where it all kind of started. It's right around the uh, Battle for Zendikar. I think they cheaped out on the quality just to make the... I guess... Well, to save money, first of all. But to also make the quality of the expedition just feel that much better. Oh, nice. A rare. Outland Colossus. Scab Clan Berserker. Orbs of Worldling. And maybe they just didn't go back after that. Nisa's Revelation, Gaia's Revenge, Guilt Leaf Winnower. We got more rares here. Alhamet High Arbiter, Captain's Claws, Joran Ruin Diver, Gladeheart Cavalry, Vile Redeemer, Goblin Kaboomist, Oath of Chandra, Overwhelming Denial, Stonehaven Outfitter. So we did have a little stack of rares there. And then we go back to Bulk. Bulky Bulk. Always going back to Bulk. We're almost done this stack. Oh, let's keep these flowing. I got just piles everywhere here. Okay. Uh, oh, whew, that was close. Almost fell right out of my hand. Slipped right out. Okay, let's keep going. A lot of slivers were in uh, M14. Some Tail Hawk. And nothing. Nothing here. Yeah, so it really looks like that was the only good card that was like well worth over twenty dollars. I mean, I'm gonna have to go over it again, but obviously, um, there probably is a few cards I I missed even. But I tried to get everything out there. Diffusion sliver. I think that might be worth fifty cents to a dollar, maybe a dollar. Um, they are slivers. Sli people do like slivers. That's probably one of the best lots you could sell on eBay. It's a sliver lot. They do sell. People collect them. People like to have them for decks. They like the variety that the slivers offer. Like Venom Sliver right there, as soon as I said that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. No, nothing. I'm trying to find more of the uh, Commander 2017 cards here. Tragic Arrogance. That was me when I purchased this lot. I was tragically arrogant. Okay. Spark Jolts. Okay. Let's see if... Oh, by the way, uh, there is another random buy that's coming soon. That is insane. It's not so random. They didn't list the cards, but just based on the pictures that I saw, there is real good cards in this next one. Uh, it should be up next week or so. Um, that's assuming that they do get shipped out. Right now, I'm still waiting for it to get shipped, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but it is going to be insane. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's the best random buy that I've ever had on this channel. Hands down, so just letting you guys know. I'm really excited to show you guys it. Uh, I hope you guys are excited to watch it. Because it is going to beat this one, that's for sure. But nonetheless, I've had fun with this. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with having a f bit of fun with you guys on a Sunday. Opening this, even if it's not the greatest. Uh, I do like going through cards, figuring out what's in them. If there's anything worth selling, trading. You know... It's not bad. It's fun. I, I do like to build decks out of these draft chaff, I suppose you could call it. A lot of basic lands in a row there, though. Wowza. That is a lot. Another trained org. 
It's a nice rare. I should put that there. Sarah Angel from 8th edition. That's not bad. I like uh, the older older Sarah Angels. We have a Symbiotic Deployment, Magister of Worth, Silmar, uh, Sandstep, Mastodon, Flame Rush Rider, Moratorium Stone, Trastodon again, Magus of the Mirror, Devil's Playground, Burn from Within. It's a few rares in a row there. Mist, ooh, nice Mist Veil Plains. This used to be like a five dollar uncommon, and that was reprinted in Ultimate Masters, and then just completely tanked. I don't think it's ever fully recovered from that. Actually, Dark Marsalis, same as that. I think that was printed. In, was it printed in Ultimate Masters again as well? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I might be confusing it with something else. This is more basics. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Oh uh, wow! Is a that is a lot of basics. And not the good ones that you want to find. All right. Oh, we got a bunch of sleeves here. Okay, I'm going to put these aside. Make some room. We do have some sleeves. We got some more old cards. Armored Pegasus. Dwarven Berserker. Lava Storm. Banalish Hero. We do have an Old Plains. Incinerate. Uh, Grizzled Wolverine. Giant Spider. Sluggishness. Sacred Ground. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, ooh, look. Pristine Angel. Mythic. From Conspiracy. Uh, Entrails Feaster, Jedit, Orginan of Ephrava, okay, Stalking Leonin, Trained Amadon, Reality Anchor, Thornwind Fairies, nice, Trumpet Blast, Rootwalla, Reliquary Monk, Goblin Spelunkers, Goblin War Buggy, two of those, Veil of Birds, Sigil of Sleep, Searing Touch, Field Surgeon, Solteri Trooper, so yeah, so I'm not going to name any. These are all uh, mostly commons and uncommons, Bubbling Beebles. I do have that in foil, actually. Decent Chance, Power Sink. Okay. Lightning Elemental. Wow, a lot of repeats of these cards. Repentance. Okay. Yeah, a lot of repeats on these cards. Lava Storm. Shatter, Wall of Stone. Yeah, we've seen all, a lot of these before. Wow. Interesting. I, I just wonder how these get compiled, you know, and people are putting these out on eBay or something. I uh, have no idea how they, they go about it. I'm assuming they just get bulk and they start throwing some random stuff in there to maybe get you to buy again if they have more to sell later in the future, making you think that these are not bulk. Fleece main line. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts down below on that. I've been trying to mull that over my mind with a lot of these random buys lately, trying to figure out what the motive is. Okay, so we've got some more older cards here. If there's anything of value, I will place it on the screen. It doesn't... Nothing is really popping out. False Dawn? That was False Dawn. That's what I feel right now. Uh, Lava Brink Adventurer. Got some more new cards as well. Migratory Great Horn. Okay. Forest again. We have more older cards. Uh, Sarah's Inquisitors. Shimmering Afrit. This one might be, a, I don't know, I might be thinking of it as something else. Renewal, uh, Skurg, All Ingesting, and then Soul Blade Dijin. Let's grab another pile here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we do have another foil, Aberrant Researcher from Shadows of Innistrad. Please let me know. I'm going through here fairly fast. I don't want to make this over an hour, this video. Uh, the last one I did was very long, uh, so sorry about that. But uh, I know some people like the longer form videos. So I tr I'll try to do a bit of both with these random buys from time to time. The next random buy will not be as long as this because it's a lot smaller of a collection. Um, but a lot more valuable, I can tell you that right now. Uh, grotesque Mutation, Foil, okay, a lot more, nothing, okay, next stack, Jack, okay, I'm just going to blast through these fast since it's a lot of uh, Battle for Zendikar, oh, there's one rare there though, Call the Gatewatch, and then we have Endbringer Foil pre-release, uh, Inexorable Blob, Tamiyo's Journal, where, there's a, what is that one rare that's worth a lot? Oh, there's one from Shadow of Zedrish, I can't remember. It's the Hunter guy, I can't remember the name of it right now, top mad. Line Heater Network. 
Let me know in the comments if you're listening. He says, renewal. Okay. More nothing. Okay, Sylvan Scrying. That's a decent card to pull aside. Okay. Okay. Another pile. Oh, there's like something here. It says something on this card. It's a conspiracy, guys. It's a conspiracy. Put that aside. I guess that was all his conspiracy cards are put through there. Bladed go. Okay, so nothing. Note here. Put these here. Okay. Oh my god, they're all over the place. There we go. Okay. Experimental overload starting things off. Anything of note? Another team of battle rage. It's a good card. Hmm. Yeah, not seeing anything here to pull. Oh yeah, yo I guess that's what you expect. Oh, all over the place. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay. Oh, these are stuck together. Oh, what is behind this? Oh, it's just another one of the Garenbrig. Ugh. Jeez. Again. Upside down. The craziness. Okay. Nothing here. No. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing there. Okay. We are not too far away from the bottom of this. Gold Grave Rot from Swift Food Boots, Landware Reborn. Oh, Command Tower. Okay, so we do have some pullables here. Cultivate, Hedron Archive, Lux and Warhammer. Yeah, not too bad. Those were uh, all fairly pullable for, for decks, not really for value necessarily. Um, but uh, nonetheless, that's interesting to see. Okay, uh, let's flip these over. Dusk Walker, another older card. The old frames. Zombie Boa. Plague Beetle. Okay. Oh, an A wall. Things have went A wall. Okay. So now we got this here. Okay, so now we do have this little fat back piece here. Oops, sorry, move the camera a bit. So there is nothing in the skate watch pack. Put that aside. So what is this all basic lands? Oh man, that would suck. Well, there's a lot of them there. Uh, yeah, from different sets. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, well, Gateway Plaza, Goldgate, Guildgate, um, another Guildgate, Divine Favor. Oh, there we go. We have a, it's a rare land from Commander. It is a Moss Wart Bridge. Okay, so there is other stuff in here besides lands, but there was a lot of lands in a row there. Okay, well, at least they kept them together. Oh, Viserys here, Season Card, Acidic Slime. At least they did keep the lands together. I will say that. That's good. That's good. That makes me happy. So I don't have to go through the collection and dig them out all later. Speaking of, here you go. A lot more lands. Mostly basic. Okay. Sarah Angel. More lands. To say it's Ring. Another basic land. Damn it. As soon as I said that, now they're all spread out in here. Ornithopter from Mirrod, an older card. It's not the first printing of that card, by the way. Dragon Whelp. Dorrit, the Perfect Pet Full Art card. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Preordain from M11. It was reprinted recently in Commander Legends as well. Okay. Ray of Command. Ignorant Blitz. Mana Leak. Hmm. Okay. Grinding Station. It used to be a decent card, I'm not so sure anymore. Chromatic Star, same thing for that. 
Um, this guy Diamond. Okay, we are almost there, guys. We are almost there. Hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys uh, are subscribed. If you're not, please subscribe. I just reached 3,000 subscribers and I opened up a Patreon account, uh, which I'm excited about. Um, I do have a few patrons right now. And if you are a patron and you are listening to this, thank you so much. You make these videos a lot more possible because of your support. Vendor Inspector. Zombie Boa again. Another old card, Backfire. Well, that's what this is looking like right now. Big Backfire. Okay, Twiddle, another old card. Cloak. Oh, wow. A Sleight of Hand, and one from Portal. I believe. I think that's a, one of the Portal sets. Nice! Look at that! We do have a card from Legends. Sea King's Blessing. Really cool. And another one, Equinox. Wow. Okay, we are getting some... Okay, so this is the Italian Legends. Okay. And uh, Shelkin Brown Brownie. Wow. Well, that's cool. Like, wow, getting a, any... I do collect Legends cards. I try to collect all cards from Four Horsemen sets. Um, sometimes you find them in bulk, just like this, and that's always fun. To pull aside, come back star again. That was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was one of... To me, that was like the highlight of this entire thing. That and the... Uh, well... The Grim Monolith, I knew it was going to be in there, so it wasn't really much of a highlight for me, but that those were. That was kind of cool. Maybe we'll get more in this last little pile coming up here. Okay. We are almost down to the wire now. A lot more uh, basic lands. Okay. Okay. More conspiracy cards. Brago's representative, Curious Pair. Monic Lore. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. Put my way together. Okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's probably that's probably it. But nonetheless, that's kind of cool to see. We are going through these upside down. What's going on, Matt? Um, yeah, more basic lands. Is that how it's gonna end? Basic lands. Yes, it is. The Boros Guildgate is our last card to look at. Wow, that was uh, that was fun. Let me know what you guys think of that random buy in the comments down below, and uh, you know, be tuned uh, for another Market Movers on Monday and another random buy the following weekend. So, with that being said, take care, have a great day, and please subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Like, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.